Hi everybody, I'm Ken Dunlap and I'm the host of the podcast Thinking Through Autonomy. We're certainly not in the studios today. We're in the workshop, my personal skunk works. And that's because I'm going to do an unboxing of the Horus X20S RC radio transmitter, brand new from FreeSky. If you like what you hear today, please subscribe or like this video. But also, please listen to my 30 plus podcast on the unmanned aircraft industry. I feature some of the top thinkers, innovators, financiers, and security specialists who are changing our future, both in driverless cars and drones. You can find the podcast everywhere you listen to your favorite podcast, Spotify, Stitcher, now Amazon. So please join me. All right. Let's start talking about the logistics of getting this radio from China to Raleigh, North Carolina. I ordered the radio in that first window of pre-orders, and in my case, it was March 8th, 2021. I received shipment notice on April 19th, and it eventually arrived on April 27th. Now, there were a couple surprises along the way. The first related to UPS shipping information, which quite frankly in this case was, was sparse. I received an initial notification saying that a tag was created, which you know is expected. And then I saw two days later, so right around April 21st, that the package had arrived in Shanghai. Then almost radio silence. Every time I checked the tracking number between the 19th and the 27th, I received a check back tomorrow for more shipping information and arrival information. Yesterday on April 26th, I finally received a note saying, your radio will be arriving tomorrow. So that was, that was pretty exciting, but kind of unexpected because I'm usually familiar with UPS that tells you just about where every electron is in that shipping process. But for some reason, uh, not in this one. I also received another surprise. So yesterday on the 26th, I received a $40 gift certificate from Horus RC thanking me for my patience as I waited for this radio. Uh, now here's the thing, the wait was no big deal. I'm really excited to be one of the first customers to receive this radio. I'm really excited to be testing it out. I'm part of the fleet back there, my personal fun fleet. And uh, I would have waited a little longer quite frankly. Um, if this were a RTX 3080 or 3090 card, Add the old different story. Uh, and maybe I'll do a, a video when I, maybe in about 10 years, when I finally do get that card. Uh, but those are two separate things. Now the package arrived in pretty good shape. We're gonna see that in a second, and it arrived in far better shape than this package that I recently received. And if you look at what the tape says, that security tape, and it says, do not accept this package if the security seal is broken. <laughs> Uh, that was a drop and run. Uh, hey, by disclosure, I used to work at UPS. I understand all the incredible pressure that everybody's under to get packages delivered. Uh, but enough said. <laughs> so let's look at the package. All right, here we go. This package has been on my porch for about a minute. That's because I've been dutifully waiting for the UPS driver to show up and it arrived. It is accompanied by like 15 or so pages of customs information, which is a homage to the age of air travel where things are not manifested electronically to the maximum extent possible. And I just know that from one of the last jobs I worked at. I mean, all of this, this really could be replaced by just an electronic manifest instead of all of these customs documents. And that was just the first layer. And if I go into the next layer, I have even more, more shipping documents, more and more. Clearly, I'm not gonna have any hope of reading these, but shipping documents nonetheless. So here's the box. Looks like we've got a nice cardboard auto, outer box on it. Security tape sealed and nothing too much rattling in it. 
does have the necessary UN lithium ion battery sticker on the side, so I'm encouraged that there's going to be a very nice transmitter battery included in it as well. And we're going to start getting to the main event. So I was hoping for an X20S, and sure enough, got the X20S, and it's in black, which is what I was hoping for. I love how these manufacturers are using new uh, materials like carbon fiber, and they really do a nice job. Makes the radio a little bit more robust than the old plastic shells. So here we have our X20S inner box. Now I am expecting to have gotten the hand grip kit and uh, also a spare receiver in it as well. I don't see any extra boxes, but I trust everything will be inside. So let's give this a little open. One side. And we're gonna pull out what looks like a very nice Free Sky case. Uh, this is the standard Free Sky radio case. Continues to be very sturdily made. It is just a incredible transmitter case that I have been very happy to have uh, for my uh, other free sky radios. So we're gonna give this a look-see and see what is inside the box. I wanna start with all the documentation that's in the cover of this case. Free Sky stickers. I have a special place for stickers in my workshop and I'm sure you do too. Uh, I like this. I think this is great and uh, certainly it'll go on one of the airplanes that I'm gonna put this in. I've got a real nice free wing Avanti and this Avanti is gonna be the test case for this radio. So thanks to Free Sky for the stickers. Now I have an envelope here that says Model name R9MX, which I'm going to assume is going to be the satellite receiver. So we'll give this a quick open, see what we have here. So I called it. It's the satellite receiver plus an antenna. So again, that's the included R9MX receiver. And you have it right here. Um, the electronic portion is nicely packaged. This antenna is in very nice shape. And it just lay, it looks like a very nice well done piece of kit. So I'm gonna put that aside and see what else we have on this side. All right, it is the X20 manual. Got four pages, various languages, well, at least English. So this is the English language manual. And had I been wearing the correct glasses, I think I would have recognized that this was only in English. All right, we've got a nice piece of foam to protect the radio. And I'm gonna start just by going on this side with the accessories. Ah! So we have very nice faux leather neck strap. Got the Free Sky logo. Some nice hardware and uh, looks like good buckles on it. Beneath that uh, is the R8 Pro receiver, which when you couple it with this, gives you your uh, redundant capability over two spectrums. We have the uh, Free Sky instructions, and uh, these again are all in English. And the R8 Pro Archer Receiver. 
and this is what it comes with. And again, this is a fairly standard receiver for those of you that are familiar with uh, FreeSky. Looks like a USB to a USB-C cable. It's nice that FreeSky decided to include one of these. More because I tend to, to lose these cables. <laughs> Uh, you give me one of these and it has a half-life of about 10 or 15 minutes, so always looking for a nice replacement cable. Uh, also forgot uh, a connector for the receiver. Finally, as we dig a little bit deeper down, these look like switch cover caps. So we have a couple of switch cover caps. And what looks like to be no, a small black strap of some sort. I'll figure out what that's for a little bit later. After I have all these parts here. All right, now I'm going to get to the main event. The main event is going to be this X20S. General first impressions are... It's a sturdy radio, and the radio seems to weigh just about as much as some of the other radios that I'm familiar with. You know, such as Futaba or Spectrum. Uh, now, it does look like the side grips are actually on uh, the outside of the wrapping paper here. Um, these are interesting. These more have a plasticky feel than any kind of grip feel. Uh, they're rather kind of slick on the outside. We'll have to see how it is in use. There's a little bit of texturing here, a little bit of texturing on the back. Um, we'll have to see what uh, other third-party providers do on here. And the main event is this. The FreeSky X20S transmitter. Comes with some nice protector caps for the gimbals. Also a screen protector for the LCD. I'm gonna leave that on for now while I just kind of give this radio a, a, a quick look over. Everything seems to be in fairly good shape. Got the access panel back here. Antenna one and two. And of course, I need to go back and take a look at the battery. Taking a quick look at the battery, uh, this is a FreeSky G4000 LiPo, 4000 milliamps, 7.4 volts, 29.6 watt hour. So, fairly substantial uh, 2S battery comes with this transmitter. And I'm really glad it's a LiPo. Um, <laughs> means I can charge once a season and I'll be in pretty good shape. So we're gonna go buckle all of that up. And strangely, as I am rotating this, I hear something rolling around inside the transmitter. Maybe it got stuck there, but uh, that's interesting and I'm probably gonna have to go and take a look at that. But now what I wanna do is, is take a look at the, oh my God. Oh, it is a four gigabyte micro SD card on oh, humanity. Now, based on everything I have been reading across many of the forums, whether or not this dollar and fifty cent micro SD card was actually in the transmitter was like subject of all of these crazy posts. I mean, I looked in my drawer. And I found about seven of these ranging everywhere from like this four gigabytes to almost 256 gigabytes. I can only think of probably about maybe 10 people in the world that need a huge SD card. For the rest of us, the other 99.9995% that maybe only have 10 or 15 models, <laughs> uh, four gigabytes is gonna be overkill. So anyways, nice SD card there. Obviously upgradable 
Free Sky, I guess you buckled under the pressure and you included one of these, but uh, hats off to you for, for listening. So I'm gonna go through and just maybe check out all the switches, switch actions. Each of these switches, they feel very solid in action. Very tight, very, very nice. Momentary switch has a real nice strong spring to it. Uh, that's great. And there goes the piece rattling around inside again. Um, sliders. Very nice action on these sliders. There is no ratcheting function. Uh, there's a little detent in the middle and it's just uh, smooth up and down. S1 and S2. Again, de detents in the middle, uh, no ratcheting action. Trims, uh, these feel like a standard electronic trim, very, very solid. I've read some comments about these particular sets of switches, and I want to see if they're true. Um, basically, folks have said, oh, these buttons feel kind of cheap, but, you know, honestly, not bad. Not bad at all. Very nice sliding action on it. Uh, we do have a couple batter or push buttons on the back. Uh, very nice action on it. Overall, except for again, whatever is rolling around inside this radio, uh, feels very nice and stout and very firm. Feels like good bang for the buck so far in terms of usability. Um, gimbals. These are the high-end gimbals. Now, I'm a guy who likes gimbals that feel like 2x4s when you move them. Uh, I do a lot of pattern flying and I tend to put HD springs in my radios. Um, these are quite soft, but the action is actually very nice. And now for the first power up. Welcome to Ethos. Photo not idle. Switch warning. Fail safe not set. Well, there you have it. And all I can say is, holy guacamole, that's a beautiful screen. I don't need the screen protector on. Wow. In terms of displays, this, this is a beautiful display. So I'm gonna press to skip, press any key, and we get back to the ethos screen. Uh, this screen is certainly the highlight of this radio. So here we have it. Very nice radio. Time to do a little bit of flight testing. Very sensitive, and I mean sensitive in a good way. Very sensitive touch screen. That's probably not activated yet. Uh, I just can't wait to use it. So this is the Free Sky X20S unboxing. Uh, look for it, and you know, based on what I'm seeing here, you're, you're not going to be disappointed at all. This is a very, very solid high end feeling radio. Uh, again, the only drawbacks are these side grips. Wow, you know, those are um, not much grip to them, and they slide on nicely. I think the jury's going to be still out on that. Uh, whether or not a third party might have grips that might in fact be a little bit softer. You know, I would prefer soft and um, maybe having a little bit more grip than these. And the only other downside in this whole unboxing is there is something rolling around inside of the radio. And at some point, I'm gonna crack this open and see what we have. But first impressions, very positive. Very good job by Free Sky. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, we've got the podcast, Thinking Through Autonomy, 30 plus episodes, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, you name it, you can find us. If you wanna hear about the latest in AI, the latest in UAS and UAVs, and really where the money's going in the UAS industry, please give us a call. Oh, this is a very, very pretty radio. Can't wait to use it. 
Um, and finally, power switch. That's good power switch. Very nice. Take care. See you later. This is Ken Dunlap signing off.